we are going to solve quadratic equations by factorization so solving quadratic equation by factorization for example <clears throat> if we have an equation which is 18 x square plus 9 x minus 35 is equal to 0 So to solve them, we have to make two factors of this, like there will be a factor and there will be another factor and the product will be equal to zero. So to get these two factors, first of all, you remember that we will ignore the square here and we will consider only this part. So we write here 18x and we also write 18x in the other bracket. Then we multiply this 18 with minus 35. So 18 times minus 35, which is 630 minus 630. So it's hard to break minus 630 into two numbers whose product is minus 630 and the sum or the difference is positive 9, this one, the coefficient of x. So easier method is that we will break this 18 and this 35. At the moment, ignore the negative sign. So 35 into their factors like 18 is 3 times 6 and 35 is 5 times 7 so we are ignoring the negative sign so now we can make suitable pair from these three four numbers like if, for example if we multiply this 3 with this 7 so it will be 21 3 times 7 is 21 and similarly if we multiply this pair 6 and 5 so it will be 30 so definitely the product of 21 and 30 will be 630 and now see if we subtract these two so we will get 9 so since we need positive 9, so we shall put positive sign with the bigger number and negative sign with the smaller number so that when we add them, so we get a positive sign. And obviously when we multiply them, so we'll get the negative sign, 630. So these are the two suitable pairs of numbers which are giving the product as minus 630 and the sum as positive 9. So now we will write these here. <coughs> so in one bracket we write minus 21 and in the other bracket we write positive 30. Okay, after this, since we have written 118 extra, because when you multiply these two, it will not give you 18 x square, it will give you 18 square x square. So it means 118 extra. So, which means we will divide these brackets by 18. Sometime we divide both by 18 or sometime we will divide one of the bracket by 18. Or sometime we will divide this by a number and this by a number whose product is 18. So, we'll see that what we will do in this case. So, 18 and 21 so both are divisible by 3 so we will divide them by 3 
So we divide this by 3 and we also divide this by 3. Now these two numbers are divided by 6. So we will divide this by 6 and this by 6. Now see one bracket we have divided by 6 and the other bracket by 3. So overall 6 times 3 is 18. It means overall we have divided by 18. So this is the final step. So we got 18 over 3 is 6x minus 7. And the other bracket, 18 divided by 6 is 3x plus 5. So that means these are the two factors of 18x squared plus 9x minus 35. And now we know that when the product of two expressions is equal to 0, so either both will be 0 or one of them will be 0. Otherwise, it's not possible that the product of two numbers is 0. So, which means we can say that this 6x minus 7 is equal to 0 or 3x plus 5 must be equal to 0. And then the procedure is easy after this. We take 7 to the other side. So it will become 6x is equal to 7 because 0 plus 7 is 7. And here 3x is equal to 0 minus 5, which is minus 5. And then we divide both by 6. So it means x is equal to 7 over 6. And x is equal to minus 5 over 3. So these are the two proofs of this equation. So we can say this is the first root and this is the second root of this equation. Okay, I hope it's clear to you. Okay, now we will solve this question by using completing square method. So, same question. So solving this quadratic equation by completing square method. One thing we should know that whenever we are to solve a quadratic equation by completing square, or sometimes we have to make only the expression, quadratic expression in by completing square method into a vertex form. So these two are two different things. So here we are doing solving quadratic equation by completing square. So it's an equation which we have to solve. So so first step when we are doing by completing square so we move the constant to the other side of the equation so it will become 18x square plus 9x is equal to 0 plus 35 which is 35 this 35 is moved to the other side after that we divide the whole equation by the coefficient of x square which is 18 so dividing each of them by 18, this by 18, this by 18, and this by 18. So we are getting x square plus 1 over 2x is equal to 35 over 18. It cannot be simplified. <clears throat> now, this one. So the procedure is that we see what is the coefficient of x, which is so half is the coefficient of x. So we divide the coefficient of x by 2, so it will become 1 over 4. So this number, the square of this number, we are to add on both sides of the equation. Okay, so half of the coefficient of x, we got 1 over 4. And then we do 1 over 4 square on this side 
and plus 1 over 4 square which is 1 over 16 on this side. So now the left hand side is a complete square. This is a square, this is b square and this is 2ab. So we can write it as x plus 1 over 4 whole square and this is equal to when we do 35 over 18 plus 1 over 16 so we will get 289 over 144 you can do say the calculator or you can do mental maths then you can find this <clears throat> now the next procedure is that we will take the square root of both sides and remember whenever we take a square root of both sides we put plus minus sign like from here when we take the square root so the square is removed so it is x plus 1 over 4 so this will be equal to plus minus square root of 289 over 144 the entire thing is in the square root Okay, so we know that the square root of 289 over 144, both are um, perfect squares, so it will be 17 over 12. This is the square of 17, this is the square of 12. So it means, now this has become two cases. One case is that x plus 1 over 4 is equal to positive. 17 over 12 because the square root of that is 17 over 12 and the second case is x plus 1 over 4 is equal to negative 17 over 12 now <clears throat> we will just move 1 over 4 to the other side of the equation and we will get the value of x so it will be 17 over 12 when we move 1 over 4 to the other side negative 1 over 4 and similarly here x is equal to minus 17 over 12 minus 1 over 4 okay so then when we simplify this so this will be 7 you can use here calculator or mental maths so you will get this as 7 over 6 and when you simplify this you will get it negative 5 over 3 so it means these are the two roots of the equation by which we got by using completing square method so we always prefer first the factorization and then not then we can use quadratic formula and our last option is the completing square. Most of the questions we can do by quadratic formula. So see that we got the same roots here 7 over 6 and minus 5 over 3 and here also we got 7 over 6 and minus 5 over 3. Okay, I hope it is clear. <clears throat>